Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Apple enthusiasts, do you want to access your Gmail messages from iCloud email? You are in luck. Today, we will guide you throughout the process of connecting Gmail to iCloud in 2024. Whether you are managing email accounts across different platforms or using iCloud mail as your primary inbox. So guys, in this video, we will show you how to do that seamlessly. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, as always, we need to mention the requirements of this video. So the requirements are pretty easy to get and pretty uh, simple. So the first thing is to own a Gmail email from Google. So to get one, it's pretty simple. Head up to Google, just click on sign in or sign up, and you will be able to sign into your existing account on Gmail or simply to create a new one. In case you would like to have iCloud as well, so it is very very important in our video since basically iCloud is the uh, email or the platform that we will need to work on in this video. So to get it, we sim you simply have to own an iPhone, this is the first thing, or you can simply own a like a Mac or whatever iOS platform that you own. And simply as you can see here in this page, there is no sign up, there is sign in because you can't sign in from or sign up throughout the website. You have to sign in through your mobile or Mac or whatever uh, iOS plat uh, device you have. So uh, simply iCloud is uh, like uh, a storage system that uh, iPhone and the Mac users own and it is a very very good place to store your files, notes, mail and more and at the same time, at the same time iCloud offers you an email. This email can be used to actually uh, like uh, create accounts with it, to receive and send emails just using this iCloud email. So what are we going to do in this video is pretty simple. We are going to connect iCloud email with Gmail email. This is uh, can kind of weird or kind of sounds like off but it's very easy and pretty important since so sometimes you will be finding it hard to go through your Gmail in messages or inbox and then go into your iCloud and check in the, I the iCloud inbox at the same time so what you should do at this point is to simply simplify all of this process and only go throughout one inbox and this single inbox will have all the messages or all the uh, emails that you have uh, been uh, uh, like gotten from both your iCloud email and from your Gmail. So to do so, we are going to use the Gmail platform first. So simply just head up to your inbox on Gmail by going to mail.google.com and you will be able to open this page. After you do so, we simply have to go to the settings right here and click on see all settings. After we did that, you have to go here on this page, and here you have to ignore literally everything. Let's go to the settings right here, as you can see right here, and you will find below it's kind of like a small menu. Go to the accounts and imports. After you click on it, this is what it will look like. Here you will find a couple of options that you have to check, but we are going to ignore the first four, and we are going exactly to the fifth one, which is check mail from other accounts. This one will allow you to add an email account as you can see right here. So this will open for us a small window just like that. Here you simply have to put your own iCloud email which is basically going to be something like, um, for example, this is just as an example, uh, iCloud com and we're gonna go next after that they are going to actually ask you if you can either import emails from this uh, exact email that you have put dot com to your gmail inbox or link the account using gmailify with gmailify you keep both email addresses but can message emails from both using your gmail inbox so here since the platform of icloud is not really supporting gmailify that is why you cannot at the moment link them with gmailify gmailify at the moment only works with different accounts of the same platform as gmail doesn't work with other platforms as icloud zebra or any other uh, platform of emailing that you own or know so right after we did that we simply have to click on next 
and here guys is the most important step so here in this window guys let me just zoom in a bit once more so as you can see here guys here we have the email address that we have put here we have the username the password and the pop server these two are basically the credentials with them you are going to log into your account so basically they are not supposed to be your iCloud login no they are you are just creating a whole new account here so you simply have to put something new put your username the whatever username you would like to have and a password with those those two you will be able to actually access a whole new gmail inbox that will allow you eventually to actually um, log into the both your iCloud and gmail at the same time so this is what this is the point of this uh, credential that you are going to put right here so after you put here your username which is going to be here and here a password for example you have here the pop server so depending on what pop server you own depending on the pop server that iCloud could give you you are going to change the port right here depending on it normally it's going to be 110 if you have an SSL uh, certificate within your email then go with 993 if it is there is anything else then you have to change it depending on what the pop server of your provider will give it to you now after you are done with that you have four options to check depending on what you want exactly here for example if you want this option which is leave a copy of retrieved message on the server then check it if you want to always use a secure connection SSO when retrieving email check this one label incoming messages from iCloud or name it TT or new label you can name it whatever you want you can check this one if you want to archive incoming messages you can simply check this one normally uh, you can check whatever you want but for us in this video we simply have to add an account now of course this account is not real so when I click on add account it's not gonna really really work but it still can help you a lot guys throughout your uh, mission so here after I clicked on add accounts normally you should simply wait a couple of seconds so there we go I clicked on it now I simply have to wait and then after that exactly there will be like another message that will be sent to your iCloud miss to your iCloud uh, receipt or your iCloud inbox from your inbox simply are going to agree and approve the access to that inbox so gmail can have an access to it and so you can connect both emails at the same place if you didn't have the access to this email and you try to do something tricky well this is not gonna help you a lot guys this is gonna be stopped at this point because you have eventually to get the access to this email so you can agree to the message that they are going to actually send to you if you don't click on the link that you are going to send for you and agree and get in the permission that they were asking you for then you are going to be stuck on this page so this is the most important page guys you have to fulfill it exactly how you need it to be because there is no going back after you check or you or you uncheck these boxes there is no going back after that you have to recreate and delete the, the this account so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel if there is any more questions you want us to do about uh, new videos just make sure to leave them down below and we will make sure to do so see you guys and see you guys in this tutorial